cool, cool. Put your hands together. If you're a fan and you love hip hop, say, I love hip hop. I love hip hop. If you're a fan and you love hip hop, say, I love hip hop. Well, if you're a fan and you love hip hop, say, I love hip hop. If you're a fan, put up your hands and say, I am hip hop. I am hip hop. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, with us being true lovers and fans of hip hop, I'm pretty sure we've kept our eyes on it and we've noticed that it's gone through a lot of changes. Now, with those changes kept in mind, we must do our part to make sure that hip hop sustains. Now, with that being said, I ask that y'all listen with open hearts and open minds once again to this piece entitled Hip Hop Fairy Tale. This story is about a beautiful African girl. And her name is Hip Hop. All the guys in the South Bronx wanted her when she moved to the block. One day she met a man, and his name was Knowledge Devon. It didn't take very long for those who to intertwine. Very soon after, Hip Hop gave birth to four sons. You see, they were quadruplets, and each being unique to the other one. So Hip Hop looked at her four sons and wanted to bestow upon them the names that were destined what they would become as men. So she thought about it. And then she lifted up her face with glee. She said, I'm going to name you Breakdance, Graffiti, DJ, and MC. And each of you in your own special way will stand out from the other. But no matter whatever happens, just remember that y'all are brothers. Graffiti became an artist. He was the rebel of the bunch. Breakdance was a b-boy who could pop and lock. He never did talk much. DJ was a master of turntables, producing, mixing, and scratching. And MC was a master of freestyling, beatboxing, reciting, and rapping. And the four men became a well-known rap group, with knowledge being their manager. The strength that this family had, no man could turn asunder. And as knowledge would often do, because he knew that the time would come, he would constantly warn his four boys about a certain record promoter. Stay away from a man called Mr. Greenback because he's nothing but a vulture. He doesn't care about our family and he doesn't care about our culture. But just like kids today, the father talked and the boys didn't listen. Though their father warned them, somehow Mr. Greenback and the boys became acquainted. He was gassing the boys up, talking about how he really liked their style. Saying how one day they would have to change their image in order to please the crowd. He was showing them how to use their talents in order to make himself some money. Instead of focusing on love of the art form, Mr. Greenback tried to split up the family. And as time went on, the four sons separated themselves from their mother and father. Knowledge wanted their career to go one way, but the boys chose to go another. And sure enough, just like Mr. Greenback said that he was going to do, the image of the four boys was rearranged, or rather it was ridiculed. He took away their African medallions and told them to wear platinum Jesus pieces. They had to trade in their dashikis for oversized white tees and throwback sports jerseys. No more songs like Fight the Power and Chanting About Revolution! Now it was all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> and crack sale distribution. Their songs are so positive, unique, they really came from the heart. But Mr. Greenback said, no, stick to negativity. So it'll be easier for me to market. They had a mouthful of gold, changed their name to Jim Crow, and the top row for t-shirts that read, free, yeah, yo. And in the passing years, the four sons' rapping careers grew to a fluttering success. But in the eyes of the public, Mr. Greenback noticed that MC and DJ started as the best. You see, graffiti was hot, but he wasn't really talked about. And Breakdance still had moves, but he was considered played out. Well, well, I don't really need all four of you. Don't miss the Greenback. And needless to say, graffiti and breakdance started getting wedged out their contract. No return phone calls, no more photo shoots, no more royalty checks. But instead of getting mad at Mr. Greenback, graffiti and breakdance started getting jealous. They were hating on their brothers, stirring up a ruckus, saying, y'all do his family, y'all, yo, what about us? But MC and DJ,
We're too concerned with making paper to remember the history that they shared with their brothers. And when hip hop had heard about what was going on, she went to Mr. Greenback's office so she could find her sons. But when she arrived, what she was surprised to see, well, MC DJ and Mr. Greenback were all arguing. It turns out Mr. Greenback was stealing from the boys, but they didn't own anything. They didn't have a choice. He had their contracts, their signatures, and he owned the copyrights. Before you know it, the three of them were all getting ready to fight. And Hip Hop got scared. She didn't know what to do. And wouldn't you know it? Guess who busts into the room? Graffiti and breakdance, both mad as hell. Yo, why is it only MC and DJ to cover the sauce in double XL? Mr. Greenback said, look, in this business, it's about talent and profit. Yeah, you got talent, but you can't sell me no records. Hip Hop said, wait, you didn't promise me this. You said all I had to do was sleep with you and you would take care of me and the kids. Mr. Greenback said, girl, I did take care of you. I got you that platinum, that Escalade, and I got you those Prada shoes. Hip Hop said, well, that doesn't matter because all that was in the past. And the five of us are going to gang up together and whip your... Mr. Greenback took a step back. He said, what is this, a joke? And the next thing they noticed, in about five seconds... All they saw was smoke. When the smoke cleared, left standing there. <laughs> it's Mr. Greenback laughing with his gun in the air. And the four elements of hip hop laid to eternal rest with their mother soon to follow, she was bleeding from her chest. And damn the life of hip hop, so fast and incomplete. She sold her soul and her children's too to gain financial prosperity. But what she must have forgotten but should have remembered when she saw that gun when it comes down to this entertainment business. He vows loyalty to no one. And I know what y'all are thinking. Man, D. Black, what happened to Nana's Devon? It turns out the real reason hip hop died is because she left knowledge behind. Let's keep it popular, yeah.